How does a germ of an idea turn into a scientific breakthrough or a thriving business? Rebel Bio aims to give a head start by offering seed funding, lab space and all important support to turn scientists into entrepreneurs. Lewis Vaughan-Jones has more. Cutting-edge biotech is changing the world we live in. Here at the Rebel Bio programme, based in Imperial College White City Incubator, London, they're doing just that. There are plenty of good ideas that never make it past the lab. So that's why this place is different. Yes, it's somewhere where the science is developed, where products are refined and improved. But crucially, it's somewhere where the business support, funding and mentoring come in to really take startups to the next level. Twice a year, Rebel Bio runs an investment programme, investing up to an initial £200,000 in startups to solve global challenges within life itself. Dr John Carrigan is Director of Science and is part of the process scouting startups. You're looking for technology that's novel, that's actually disruptive, um, that has an advantage over other existing technologies. It's giving new technologies and new companies a chance to survive and flourish. Here is the saliva tube. You spit in the tube. Chronomics is a young company right at the forefront of consumer epigenetics. Using their saliva test, they can show people how their environment and lifestyle are impacting their health at a genomic level. And you can get personalised recommendations to enable you to improve your results. Chronomics was one of 150 startups that SOSV, the venture capital firm that owns Rebel Bio, invests in each year. All benefit from significant funding, lab space, resources, a huge network and expertise in every area of business. Rebel Bio has been instrumental to our success. We definitely wouldn't be where we are now, raising over a million pounds six months after we were formed, if we hadn't had their help and support. Rebel Bio's raison d'etre is to take scientists in the biotechnological field and actually bring them through the journey to becoming entrepreneurs so that their technology can go from the lab into the marketplace as fast as possible and create the biggest possible impact. Bill Liao is a general partner at SOSV, a venture capital fund with $400 million in assets under management. Rebel Bio is fully funded by SOSV and it has capitalised on the changes in life sciences in recent years. The costs of crucial technologies, such as sequencing, had come down 10 million fold in price in 12 years. When anything gets 10 million times cheaper in 12 years, you should pay attention. Joanna Gould is CEO of Vicious Nano a company that recently completed three months here on site in the Rebel Bio programme. We're making the first drug eluting cataract lens. It means that post-surgery you won't need to take your eye drops. Lenses that release drugs into the eye after surgery can also prevent the need for follow-up operations. There's a horrible bottleneck with startups at the moment where they have a little bit of money but not enough money to take them through to a product. So Rebel is great. So they give you a lab space and money it allows you to have three months to really intensively work on your product, but it also gives you an awful lot of opportunity to meet investors, become investor ready. So everything here is designed to help biotech startups go further, faster. What Rebel Bio's goal is, is to democratise biotechnology and distribute it. And the intersection of biotechnology and computer technology, such as AI and quantum computing, that is the hottest growth area. So for the next decade, I can see us expanding what we do and launching brilliant company after brilliant company addressing those crucial global grand challenges.